The Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution gives all citizens the right to keep and bear arms. If data from the Bureau of Justice Statistics are any indication, many Americans are exercising this freedom. Nationally, 42% of people responding to a survey reported having a gun in their home. Let's take a look at some popular guns that might just get banned. Number 5. Thompson Center Arms Encore Muzzle Loading Rifle $1,300 Muzzle loaders receive a bullet and propellant gunpowder through the muzzle rather than through the breech, as is the case with modern firearms. Think of the long-barreled Springfield M1855 used during the American Civil War and you'll get the idea. In fact, many people still regard Springfield rifle muskets as some of the finest weapons ever made. Repeaters such as the lever-action Spencer and Henry rifles gradually replaced muzzle loaders in the late 1800s. They were in turn usurped by more advanced bolt-action rifles of World War I. For many years, few people beyond gun collectors and reenactors sought out muzzle loaders, but two recent trends have renewed interest in this traditional gun. The first is the addition of primitive weapons-only seasons in regions where white-tailed deer populations have soared. The second is the introduction of improved rifle designs. The inline muzzle loader defines the modern form of this firearm. Inline refers to the igniter, which sits directly behind the powder charge. Because the igniter and the charge are lined up, ignition is more efficient and the explosion propelling the cartridge has more energy. More important, the ignition systems of inline muzzle loaders aren't exposed to the elements, eliminating the constant worry to keep the powder dry. Thompson Center Arms offer a full line of inline muzzle loaders and accessories. Many hunters and sportsmen consider its Encore 209x50 Magnum to be the most versatile muzzle loader available today. The Encore has a 26-inch barrel and produces a muzzle velocity of 2,203 feet per second, giving its stopping power out to 200 yards. The next gun on our list doesn't have the same range, but that doesn't diminish its popularity or its usefulness. Number 4. Remington Model 870 Pump Action Shotgun – $500 Unlike rifles, which have grooves cut into the side of their barrels, shotguns are smoothbore firearms. This design makes it possible to shoot multiple projectiles, most often large pellets, buckshot, or small beads, birdshot, in a conical spray that can be devastating at close range. Shotguns can even fire less lethal rounds, such as rock salt or miniature tear gas grenades, to help control crowds. Flintlock shotguns were popular in the 18th century. The blunderbuss, a shotgun with a flared muzzle, was a favorite among coachmen who needed to repel highway bandits. Coachmen also made good use of the coach pistol, which resembles today's sawed-off shotgun. But the real coming of age for shotguns came in the 1880s, when gunmakers introduced pump-action models. Pump-action shotguns have a tubular magazine under the barrel that holds six or seven rounds. The user simply slides the forestock to chamber a new round. Remington introduced the Model 870 in 1950, and it has since become the best-selling shotgun of any type in history. More than 10 million 870s have rolled off Remington's production lines into the hands of hunters, sportsmen, law enforcement officers, and soldiers. Every Model 870 shotgun features a receiver milled from a solid billet of steel. This increases the weapon's strength and durability, and does much to bolster its reputation for quality and reliability, even in the harshest conditions. Number 3. Bushmaster AR-15 Semi-Automatic Rifle – $1,200 the AR-15, which designates a rifle platform, not a specific manufacturer's model, remains a controversial weapon. Why? Many people mistakenly believe that AR stands for assault rifle. In reality, the AR-15 is a semi-automatic rifle, which means it fires one round with each pull of the trigger. The AR actually stands for Armalite Rifle, the company that invented the design in the 1850s. Armalite's chief engineer, Eugene Stoner, sought to develop a revolutionary weapon, one that was lighter and offered less recoil. His early efforts resulted in the AR-10, which weighed less than 7 pounds. U.S. Army officials asked Armalite to downsize the AR-10 in 1956, leading to the AR-15. The military didn't show immediate interest, so Armalite sold the patents and designs for the AR-10 and AR-15 to Colt. Colt took the basic design and tweaked it to manufacture the M16, the primary weapon used by service personnel during the Vietnam War and beyond. But other manufacturers, including Bushmaster, began to produce civilian versions. Today, Bushmaster remains one of the top sellers of rifles based on the AR-15 platform, and its Predator model stands as the typical form of the weapon. The 556mm Predator features a 20-inch barrel and takes 5-round magazine that's legal for hunting in most states. Hunters favor it because it's easy to carry and highly accurate. With that said, many gun enthusiasts also like AR-15 models from manufacturers such as DPMS Firearms and Stag Arms. Number 2. Smith & Wesson Model 10 Revolver – $812 
When most people form a mental image of a gun, they see a revolver, and for good reason. Since the 1800s, millions of these simple, rugged, easy-to-use weapons have been used by pioneers, gunslingers, soldiers, police officers, homeowners, and, of course, criminals. Over the years, the basic design of revolvers has changed little. They have a cylinder containing multiple chambers, each of which holds a round. When the trigger is pulled, the cylinder rotates and a new chamber lines up with the barrel. In single-action varieties, the user must manually cock the hammer before firing. In double-action varieties, the user pulls the trigger to rotate the cylinder and draw the hammer back to a cocked position. Samuel Colt put the revolver on the map. During the Civil War, his new company produced 100,000 revolvers, the M1860 Army Colt and the M1861 Navy Colt, for both Union and Confederate troops. After the war, the Colt Peacemaker, more properly known as the Colt M1873, became the symbol of frontier life, westward expansion, and outlaw justice. It didn't take long for competitors to enter the market. Remington also sold large numbers of revolvers during the Civil War, but the gunmaker that would take six shooters to a whole new level was Smith & Wesson. The company made its first revolver in 1857 and never looked back. The Model 10 has been the anchor of the S&W product line since 1899. Also known as the military and police model, the Model 10 fires 38 caliber rounds through a 4-inch barrel. Smaller models, known as J-frame revolvers, are also popular. Smith & Wesson introduced the first J-frame, the Model 36 or Chief Special, in 1950. These guns, with little argument, are some of the most recognizable in the history of firearms. Number 1. Colt M1911, $1,500 Although revolvers functioned admirably, military personnel and gun enthusiasts wanted more. In particular, they wanted two things revolvers couldn't deliver, faster reloading and greater capacity. Gun designers designed the pistol to accommodate both of these requirements. A pistol is a semi-automatic handgun with a magazine that slides into the grip. It also tends to be lighter and more compact than a revolver. When a pistol is fired, some of the energy is used to eject the spent cartridge and load a fresh one from the magazine. The magazine commonly holds 7 to 9 rounds, but some current models hold 17, 19, or even 33 rounds. Many of the earlier semi-automatic pistols came chambered for 38 caliber cartridges, but in battle, officers complained of the 38's inadequate stopping power. Enter John Browning. Browning already had a reputation as an innovative gunmaker when he set out to improve the semi-automatic pistol, but his 45 caliber design for Colt set a new standard. It came with a 7-round detachable box magazine and performed flawlessly in any condition. The U.S. Army adopted Browning's new pistol in 1911 and designated it the M1911. It remained the standard U.S. military sidearm until the 1990s when it was replaced by the 9mm Beretta. Even with its removal as the standard sidearm for U.S. armed forces, the M1911 remains popular, especially with civilians who participate in competitive shooting. Several companies continue to manufacture M1911 type models, and they all sell well. Many consider it to be the finest handgun, and perhaps the finest gun ever made. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.